Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for coming back. Today we're going to be playing some Japanese visual novels. This is essentially going to be an episode of visual waste, but the biggest problem is that I have no idea what these two titles are, so I'm probably going to have to name these in the title underneath the video after this. I literally have no idea. All I see is pink-haired girl, and the fact there was a demo available on the Japanese PSN, and I like to check out these visual novels because they tend to have some awesome little animated intros, and the plot, I think the quality of them has been going up so high that I want to see more of them translated in English, so maybe at least just showing people this and showing them the animation of it, then it might be worthwhile to some other company like P-Cube or Atlas to bring these across to the rest of the world. I know it's a translation job and a goddamn half, and if I spoke the language myself, I would do it myself, but... It's nice to see some visual novels popping up on the PlayStation consoles. I'm a huge fan of Stein's Gate. I actually enjoy a Root Letter as well, which is another great one, the Kadokawa game one. Um, I would like to see more of this stuff kind of being brought across. So let's take a look. Let's, uh, let's take a look. See. Well, there we go. We know exactly why this game's not going to be coming over to this world within the first second of turning it on. And is that what the point is? To turn it on? Jesus. Okay. A synopsis of girls who don't flatter me? Huh. Ah. Ah, oh, God. Right, I'm, I'm gonna just uh, turn up the audio even because the tunes are actually kind of cute, but... Wow. Ah. The, 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 first, the first shot of the game is Cheesecake. Was that really absolutely necessary? Honestly, I want to see the manual in this. I was like, ah, oh, really? <laughs> All right, it's gone down to the manual. I'm, I'm just flicking through the manual because I'm essentially looking here, going to grind. This is obviously a visual novel, and it's going to have a lot of decision trees. Um, here is the waifus of the day. Uh huh. Antigram. Fair play, these. Um. I don't know if your game is going to get released over here, just because it tends to be like, uh, well, I mean, suppose we're, what am I chatting about? There's plenty of games that actually have anime waifus in English, no, it happens fairly often. I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit herpy even just realizing the fact that I've, I've thrown this on with the gusto that I had, and now the gusto is gone, and now I actually feel a bit horrible about it. So, what do we got? See, it's things like Aokana, or some of the other ones like Reflections, Having their like intro at least be interesting enough for me to kind of want to um, watch that bit, like that two or three minutes of game, uh, like an uh, animated intro, kind of got me drawn in enough to actually be not <laughs> not pissed off or not not caring about the actual like the lack of the, my inability to read the dialogue. So as uh, okay, as it is now, I'm just gonna be flicking through this as fast as I humanly can. Uh, is there, a, there? There's no auto. There's no. There's no autos. Like, so I have to actually just keep on tapping. I'm sorry, girl. I don't know what you got to say. I know your say is probably extremely talented and does a really good job of articulating your lines, but this is really. Good. Oh, there we go. There's the fast forward button. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so, we got the fast forward and the autoplay button on, so literally this is just going to be... <laughs> Maybe that is not fast enough? So, um... Yeah, literally this is going to be a very, very quick flick through of what... Essentially what CG art is actually going to be put in here. Um, synopses of girls who... I, do not flatter me. I don't know what I don't know what that type or that particular character type is actually listened to. It's not a Sudari. Sudari is the one that actually actively pretend they hate you while actually fall in love with you. I'm trying to figure out what this personality type is. Ones that are actually like nonchalantly don't care if you exist. <laughs> love the school chimes. <laughs> um, so, th this is, after a couple of games that I've done previously on this channel that were visual novels, I'm a little bit disappointed to be going back to watching these ones. Like, these are, these are 
older school visual novels that I would have played 10, 15 years ago. Obviously in English, or patched at least in English. Um, I'm not a huge... I'm not, I think we've moved on from this as a visual novel type in a lot of ways. Uh, especially for these long kind of like school childhood adventures kind of thing. Really, it should be... Really, if there, where's innovation in that? But I'm sure there's actually a massive, massive following for these particular types of games. And the older, like this, this is what you would call like a, an 8-bit retro, or 16-bit retro style version of what people have been doing with visual novels lately. And I don't think I'm. Oh, come on. <laughs> have, have at least a single. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to see if there's a single CG scene outside of that initial image of the girl from the very beginning. Oh, there we go. There's one CG mark. We've hit a flag! We've hit a flag! Oh, Jesus! Really? This is even the same pose, just extended out, so it's like they zoomed out with the facial gesture and actually had um, a pants shot in the inside of it. Uh, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna actually probably have to call this one. Short. Uh, I think this is this is what we get for visual waste on occasion. Like sometimes it's frisky business and it's fucking glorious. Sometimes it's uh, <coughs> reflections and it's actually it's innovative because it's actually using three CG models that actually are animated and reacting and moving inside an environment. Um, and then sometimes you get good old fashioned cheesecake, love harem visual novels. I, I'm, I can't do this. <laughs> right, hang on, let's see. Let's see if we can do the fast forward. This is the fast forward of fast forwards. Uh... Hey! We actually made it to an intro. So I knew that nearly always most of these games will have one of these. So I'm actually cool with watching this. That's not a problem at all. What is our theme? What is our tone? A synopsis of girls who don't flatter. Alright, so at least I, 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 I didn't think I saw that on the title card, at least now we actually know what we need to look out for. <laughs> Make sure to pay attention to all of the curves, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this game could not possibly throw you any curveballs at all. Okay, from what I can see, it looks exactly what I think it is. It is a cheese ball. Four girl Aram anime, kind of like just pick out the path you want to go with. Learn to actually get the ones that you don't care about, you do care about you. The Mummy and Nika. Dohana Shiga. Nane Naganine. Nagamine? Yeah, Nane Nagamine. Yuki Kurisa. Together they are the Harem Girls! Haha! <laughs> pretty much, I'm assuming it's like through a period of an entire school year. Oh, we got snow! We got sad girls! We got a sad Yuki and snow! <laughs> sad Yuki and snow! Did you get that reference? <laughs> That, one of those images looked like a post-wedding them as adults shot, and I know I, and the worst thing is I know what those look like because I've seen them in so many games before. It's like the girls actually dress maturely and they're actually like hanging onto her husband's arms, like, and there's like a dialogue box underneath, like we became husband and wife shortly afterwards. We grew up together, and it's like really, I thought, is that is that all the detail we're going to get? That's that's actually our post story. Oh uh, hey there, buddy. I is our one meal high school friend. Oh, he's at least he's just he's the dude's gesticulates the dude gesticulates. So yeah, and is this a little see uh, sister sama? Uh, okay. I don't think there's any decisions that should be had in this. I think it's actually all going to be narrative design things. I should have probably stopped this as soon as it actually came to that title screen. But you know what? <laughs> We're just stopping here. Um, yeah, so you got to see the intro to um, a synopsis of girls who do not flatter me. Um, we'll, we'll be moving on to another visual novel very, very quickly after this. But if you happen to enjoy watching the details in that and my opinions on visual novels, then we maybe, maybe we should do something more with it. 
Uh, I've always wanted to actually sit down and play through some of the really old visual novels. Um, and to be honest, the ones that are actually looter than... Like, there, you still think about there's actually proper, like, really... Like, there's Arogia games now that are actually, like, really, really kind of, like, there's a lot of porn in them. Meanwhile, there's a lot of ones I remember back in the day that I used to play that maybe had, like, one or two scenes if you chose a path. Um, and you end up actually, like, being a lewd prick about it, but... Most of the time it was actually just an interesting story. I wouldn't mind actually taking, uh, going through a, and talking about some of those games in the past. Especially uh, the, how long ago in history those are. And whenever we look at games like this, like how much of a throwback they are to those. Like, we, we, like the games have not changed since. Like the, the bit color depth is the only thing that's goddamn changed. I mean, as we're talking about, we're like, we've gone from 256 to, to 14 million colors. Uh, if not more than 32 million, 42 million, 126 million, whatever colors of bit depth of detail that we've gone into. But we're still playing the exact same damn things. So, um, and maybe take a look at some of the other ones that are actually been really interesting. Like that Reflections one I played previously. I'll be in the show notes so you actually be able to check that one out. But it looked really cool. It looked interesting. It was going like, just for the visual in intuitiveness or the visual innovation in this, I'd be interested in following the story, even if it is just a typical high school drama. So yeah, uh, synopsis of women who do not flatter me. <laughs> I'm not too excited to actually check that out whenever it comes back around. But I'm sure if there's a manga or an anime series of it, I'll probably watch a few episodes. We might look a little bit more into it uh, when I, uh, this is my first look out of the way. But uh, yeah, we'll do something else with it. If you're interested in seeing more visual novels here on the channel, you want to see more stuff like that and want to hear discussions about it, then feel free to actually put a comment underneath the video and tell me you do. Or make sure to hit the like buttons or the subscribe buttons or all the follow buttons, any of the things that actually do that. And if you don't do any of those, one thing I do ask you to do is remember to memorize my name, Pastiche of Skin. It's right there. It's been on the front of your face the entire time, right here on the screen. All you have to do is search for it. It's easy to find. If you actually search for me, I'll be happily to entertain. I just, I'm not trying to disappear. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. I'm here to entertain you. You look for me, you get to see me. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a button up here that I want you to press. And if they're looking over here, button, yeah, about there, that'll be all I want you to press. Over here will actually be a, <coughs> sorry, a playlist of actual stuff that I've been doing here on the channel recently. Over in the far side will actually be the most recent video on the channel. And right here, right here on this side, right here, will be a video just for you based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube and all the things that you look at. It will pick a video out of stuff that I've made for you and place it right here for you to check out. And if it happens to be another visual novel, well, in that case, you really should comment underneath this and make sure I do more visual novel stuff because these are a rarity and they, I only do them whenever they come up in front of me. And I've got a few of them sitting stacked here in front of me, so I'd be happy to entertain if you actually want to see them. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.